So this is a um, video to explain how to do this exercise which you just had last week so that uh, in case you were unsure of anything, um, you've got a few explanations. The numbers will obviously be different to yours, so you can't use to check your answers, but my maths would have already checked your answers for you. It's just an explanation of what to do because the questions are always pretty similar. Um, calculator allowed for this homework and pen and paper is going to be um, very useful because these aren't just one step calculations usually usually uh, they're going to require a bit of working if you try to juggle all that working in your head or in your calculator you're much more likely to make a mistake so uh, let's have a look what we got so working out the missing size just basic right angle trigonometry so this is soccer tour um, so when you have got uh, opposites and hypotenuse then that is going to be sine and uh, let's just get out my calculator and work this one out. So this one should be 2.6 picograms for 1dp or better. So let's just stick to 1dp, 2.6 for this one. Um, this one, opposite and adjacent. And so that one is going to be tan. Uh, it's opposite over adjacent. So. 1.3. Uh, this one is adjacent and hypotenuse. This one's going to be cos. Two point six for this one. It's always uh, sense. Have a look and see if it's a central answer as well. The hypotenuse should be the longest side, which it is. In both these cases, we don't know it in this case, but um, also. You're going to find the shorter side is opposite the shortest, the smallest angle, and that's where the hypotenuse is. Always the longer side because it's opposite the biggest angle. You can't get an angle bigger than 90 degrees in a right angle triangle. Uh, okay, on to the next one. So this one is hypotenuse and adjacent, which means it's cos, but we'll look for the hypotenuse now, so it's slightly different. going to be uh, 4.98 which rounds to 5.0 this one again um, is looking for the hypotenuse which uh, and it's opposite in hypotenuse which means it's sine so this one's going to be 9.1 and the last one um, we'll look at the opposite this time and it's tan. So, well, I'm not even going to grab my calculator because this is 45 degrees, which means it's a right, it's an isosceles triangle, 45, 45. So, this is going to be 5.3. This is also going to be 5.3. Not even worth grabbing my calculator for that one. Okay, dancers, got them all right. That's great. That's next page. So, next page is a little bit trickier. Definitely going to need a uh, pen and paper. I kind of wish I had one in front of me now, but let's see what we can do anyway. So, ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equaling BC. So, this length equals this length. Um, obviously, this bottom angle is going to be um, 67 as well. So, bearing that in mind, we can get a right angle triangle from half of this. We can work out to this half angle up here. So if we do that, this top part is going to be 23 degrees up here. And um, is there a way of writing over this? Change overlay calculator is off. Let me turn the calculator on, I suppose. Um, but I don't see a write over thing. It would be handy at this point. OK, anyway. Um, so this is 23 degrees, this is 13, so we've got the hypotenuse. Actually, we don't even need that 23, do we? Because um, we can just use the fact that this is 13, this is 67. We're looking for the um, adjacent, which is going to be cos. So, um, and then... 
double it because we only found out half the size you're going to get so that bottom side there is going to be uh, 10.2 you need to look at that top angle but uh, there we go right so we've got a rectangle what we're we looking for x so this is 62 right where's our right angle coming from our right angle um, is going to be we've got this big right angle triangle here um, if this is 62 and this is going to be a an isosceles triangle so 180 take away that 62 halve it so this bottom angle is going to be 59 degrees because this was 62 and this is an isosceles triangle so if we've got 59 degrees and we've got 17 we can work out this using a c d as our right angle triangle so we've got the adjacent we're looking for the opposite and so that's going to use tan um so that's going to be 17 tan i said 59 didn't i so it's going to be 28.3 centimeters so let's use acd our triangle I worked at this angle is 59 and I worked it out using trigonometry tan. Okay, last one ABC is a right angle triangle, AD is a bisector, so X is the same up here and up here. Angle DAC equals 18 degrees, so D to AC is 18 degrees. Okay, so what we can do here is we can work out. Um, we can work out this top uh, what can we work out with this one so for this triangle we've got one piece of information this triangle we've got one but it's not right angled the triangle as a whole we haven't got a whole angle even so um Um, let's think, what can we do? So just because this is a bisector, oh, it's a bisector of angle BAC. Okay, this makes it much easier. This angle down here is going to be 18 as well, which means this whole angle is going to be 36. And so we can work out um, the entire side CB. We can work out the smaller side DB. And we can figure out the difference between them. Because I'm not taking any assumptions that this is exactly um, the same as this. Because it doesn't say anywhere that angle length BD is the same as length CD. So uh, that's going to be, I'm going to be doing tan each time. So um if we do 24 tan 36 that's going to be the entire side b to c and then if we take away 24 tan 18 it's going to be side d to b using this one here and that should leave us with that cd so it's going to be 9.6 centimeters so, um, I'm all right, great. That gives you a little look into not only sort of how to do these questions, but the thought process I went through because I'd not seen these questions before. I didn't know sort of the sorts of things they'd be asking me. And so um, hopefully that was a little helpful. If you got asked different questions or you still don't understand something, then uh, just ask, but otherwise hopefully this was helpful in uh, reviewing this topic.